Let's do at least a partial teardown of this SC899. See what kind of interesting things we run into. So right away, I can see that this definitely isn't anything factory right here. Somebody lost the normal factory setup and they just did a bolt in the nut. Well, you know, whatever, whatever fits, I suppose. You know, that's, that's what you got. And that's what you got. Yeah, that isn't factory. That ought to be interesting. Let's see if I can get the placement of what this should be. Let's go ahead and take this unbelievably long cord off. Love a long cord. Good for large areas for sure. Pop the bag off. I got the inner bag out. Now I'm going to have to just um, vacuum this out. And then also, I think we'll wash it as well. Why not? Okay, let's see if I can take. And I know, again, this is. Um, Going to be off camera a bit. Oops, we didn't need that. There's a top clip, and there's the bottom clip. There you go. Get those clips out now. Now I got the handle off. That's fantastic. This is definitely going to need grease. It's not in real good shape, hardly moves. So let's take a look at the rug plate. So we've got some rust in there. It's usable, but it looks terrible, but it still works. And I put a new belt on. Here's something I wanted to show you though. I went ahead and I did clean up the brush roll earlier. And I just wanna show you what kind of condition the bearings are in. So let's see if I can do this right. Okay, watch this. Oops. Huh. I'm not touching it. Still going. Still going. I don't think I'm going to replace this fiber groomer. It looks like it's in fantastic shape. It's got a little bit of evidence of wear and tear. Look at it, it's still going. So the bearings in here are fine. The bristles, yeah, they're literally perfect. So like I said, I've already cleaned this up. Obviously you can see the bearings are in absolutely fantastic shape. So this is like 50 bucks and no need to replace it. Boy, boy what, a, what a monster. So now, see how dark that is? You can only imagine what's built up in there over a number of years. And I need to also check the seal. Mm -hmm. eh, got some rust in it. Lots of rust. Always lots of rust. Yeah. Well, I think that needs a bit of a clean, don't you think? Yeah. All right. Um, let me see if I can just use this to loosen that. That was easy. On that tight that's cool of course nice and rusty and I'm gonna have to work off camera to get that off to be sure I wonder what's the seal like here so the seal nope <laughs> look at that there's the seal material it, it's just rotted off so I have to get a new seal as well 
the cover the cover looks okay I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any gouges holes cracks so it probably just needs to be cleaned all right so I'm gonna have to get the fan off back in a minute Got the fan out finally. It was really stuck on. And we have some obvious broken blades right here. So that definitely is going to have to get replaced. All right, let's see what the top of the machine looks like now. These little clips, little spring clips. Try not to lose them. Probably haven't been removed in years. See now we have this loose. Now I need to get this dial and half out. Seems to take a TX25. There we go. That looks in pretty good shape, really. looks like. So, yes, I can take the foot switch out, but if I look at the motor, it says manufactured August 29th of 05. So, this is indeed a 2005. That's kind of what I thought it was. And it's got a rebuildable bearing on the top. You can rebuild it without taking this bearing plate off if you want to. But uh, the motor sounded perfectly fine. But you could rebuild it um, fairly easily if you want to. And here's a dead light bulb. And it actually looks like it's not a factory type at all. But I'll get another bulb that's the right kind of bulb. And here's what the top of the motor looks like. Looks pretty good. It's not, it's not in bad shape. Let's get to washing the bag, the fan case, and even though the fan has a couple of cracked blades, I'll wash it anyway just because.
is a broken gasket. We're definitely gonna get another one of those. And that's it. Very straightforward.